everyone, it is one week before Thanksgiving and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all the ways that I prep for Thanksgiving, the way I grocery shop, and my Thanksgiving Day table. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe now. Thank you so much and let's get into the video. Alright, so it is my first year hosting Thanksgiving for my family. My mom is usually the host, but I am doing it this year. And so that I stay um, organized and make sure everything goes smoothly because I want to be able to relax the day I'm hosting too. So I am sticking to a list this year. I got this free printable online, obviously. And um, it's going to help me stay on track for everything I need to get done for um, preparing such a large meal. And I liked this list over here. This is a Thanksgiving kind of to-do list because it helped me think of ideas that I need to do ahead of time to make sure the day goes smoothly. And this list um, over here, my grocery list, is specifically just for Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving Day. Um, don't mind my nails. I desperately need to get them done. But anyway, um, I just wrote down everything that I needed to purchase and I did delegate some items to family members. And then side note, I did this free little um, color by number printable for Johnny. I used to do these as a kid, so I thought I would start a new tradition with him. And we also make a gingerbread house. Do you guys have any traditions that you guys do on Thanksgiving? Before we get into the groceries, I wanted to show you what I bought from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed a bunch of these aluminum pans for leftovers. I hate washing out plastic Tupperware and it makes it a lot easier when you go to warm the leftovers. So go ahead and snag these up because they are durable. And then I also grabbed these plastic servingware trays for the morning of. I'm going to set some fruit and some muffins out on them. And then lastly, I snagged up a couple of these little trees. They come in a two pack for only a dollar and I thought it was a really good deal. So I did most of my Thanksgiving Day shopping from Aldi and Walmart and I did do some price comparing for you. And then I also did some price comparing for my local store which is Publix here in Southwest Florida. If I belonged to a Costco or a Sam's Club or a box store, um, I would probably be doing most of my shopping from there because things like butter, milk, egg, sugar, flour, vanilla extract, you need so much of that during the holidays and it does make me consider wanting to get a membership to one of those places but for now Aldi and Walmart really did a good job with prices and I cannot wait to show you all of the prices that I compared between Walmart and Aldi because Aldi had phenomenal prices. It was so, so crowded and loud in there and I did have two of my kids with me. So bear with me, um, but I'm gonna basically just show you what I found and I will put prices up. But I was so impressed with Aldi, you guys. If you have holiday shopping and baking to do, you need to make it to Aldi.
I love all these seasonal decor aisles and they did a great job this year. They had a ton of outdoor decorations, indoor decorations, stocking stuffers, and toys. And I have a little two-year-old girl and I found these little shoes by Disney. They were really good quality, like legit shoes for $12.99. And then I also found this candle that I cannot wait to tell you guys about. But first, let's get into the groceries that I got from Aldi. So I ended up picking up the crescent rolls for Thanksgiving dinner, as well as some cinnamon rolls for the morning of. Johnny loves cinnamon rolls, and I believe my nephews will be here in the morning as well, so I'm sure they will enjoy those. I'm hoping that this pumpkin spice ready whip is good. I'll keep you posted. A dozen eggs for all the baking I'll be doing. Johnny just wanted some string cheese and cube cheese in the house, so I just picked them these up for him. I'm going to be making a pumpkin cheesecake for the first time, so I will also keep you posted on that. And then of course some butter for my recipes, but we were previously doing dairy-free um, mainly because I was trying to see if my nine-month-old who is nursing had any intolerances and then my two-year-old who has some skin issues to see if dairy was affecting her skin in any way and as well as gluten but we've been slowly reintroducing it and we haven't had any issues so I wanted to go ahead and make a cheese tray with crackers and fruit and um, vegetables while I'm preparing Thanksgiving Day um, supper because I don't want anyone to be really really hungry before you know we eat or anything so I picked up this brie and I'm going to be making um, a homemade cranberry sauce to pour over it I don't know why but it sounded really good to me and then some strawberries that we needed for the house but as far as dry goods, um, I ended up picking some of our staples and then these bagels as well um, for Thanksgiving morning, early morning. Does anyone know if there's going to be a dog show this year? I think that they canceled the Macy's Day Parade, but I'm hoping they didn't cancel the dog show because no shame, I love the dog show. Comment down below if you're a dog show person too. There's the crackers I picked out for the brie and the goat cheese. This light brown sugar, you guys, I'm pretty sure this brown sugar was 95 cents. These pecans were, I think, oh my, let me look at my receipt really quick. The pecans were $3.99, $3.99 and $2.49 for the walnuts. The marshmallows that I'll be using for my sweet potato casserole were $0.85 cents a bag. The vanilla extract for two ounces was only $3.49. The cream of tartar was $1.69 for this big container. The olive oil, I'm, I want to say it was $1.89. Table salt was $0.47. Cents. You guys, super, super inexpensive prices. And I ended up picking up three jars of turkey gravy because I wasn't sure if my mom was gonna make it or not. I do not make gravy. I know it's super simple, but I still don't even make it. Um, but it was like a dollar nineteen a jar, and I like to pick up an extra jar because the next day I feel like turkey's a little dry and you need gravy with it. But picked up three of them because you never know. And then if I have anything extra as far as canned goods, I will donate them to a food pantry. And don't forget about your items like trash bags, Ziploc bags, foil, um, parchment paper, things that you go through a lot of at the holidays. Um, go ahead and pick it up at Aldi because it was super, super cheap. And now for my most favorite part of my Aldi trip. At the end of an aisle, there was this box and it wasn't even opened yet and I peeked in and there were these silver candles Obviously be beautiful packaging. Doesn't it remind you of another candle? That's right. It reminds you of the ones that you would find by Volcano and Capri Blue Scent. They um, they have the same packaging at Anthropology. They call this scent Paradise Cliff. It's 17 ounces and I burned it and it smells just like the Volcano candle. You guys smelled so good. So good. I've burned it for two days straight now for four hours at a time and it's burning beautifully. Go pick one up for $7.99. As far as my Walmart purchase, I just did my bottled water, Diet Coke, Diet Dr. Pepper, coffees, um, and stuff like that, and as well as some stuff for the kids' table because the kids are gonna have their own separate table from the adults. All right, let's start decorating for Thanksgiving. The first thing I'm gonna do is work on my flowers because that is my main focal point of my table. I'm going to be taking the vases that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna be making almost a tic-tac-toe board. Um, I got this idea off of TikTok. It helps the flowers stay in place. 
You'll notice that I sprayed the bottom of my bowls with this snow spray. I also sprayed some mirrors and stenciled some snowflakes onto the mirrors with the spray. I would not recommend this spray because even though I gave it two days to dry, it still didn't quite give it the look I wanted to. And even though it was $2.50, it still wasn't worth it. Um, you could probably find better spray on Amazon, but I just needed a little bit for this project and I wasn't about to buy a whole expensive $18 bottle just for my flowers, but it turned out all right, but still I wouldn't recommend it. But let's get making a tic-tac-toe board to help the flowers stay in place. And I can't stop laughing that I even filmed this and I'm putting it out on the internet, but this is my kitchen floor. I have three children that are constantly making crumbs everywhere they go, but thankful for this, this vacuum by Shark. It gets all the little crumbs and I can use it on a daily basis but still have a ton of crumbs. But I have to prep this area. I'm going to wipe off my kitchen table and then I'm going to polish it. My Tablecloth was extremely wrinkly, so now I have to iron that. Does anyone like ironing? I cannot stand it, but I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you how I start to set the table. All right, so the tablecloth is finally ironed. I have my chargers out, and I'm gonna be setting the table with my mom's dinnerware set that she got over 20 years ago from my grandma from Target, so it is considered vintage. It's so cute and playful. At Easter, we have the serious china out, but at Thanksgiving, we start the Christmas season with these beautiful plates, and they come with bowls, but we're only gonna be using the dinner plate and the salad plate for Thanksgiving this year. And I love them because they can mix and match the stripes with the snowflakes and the snowmen, and it's perfect for the winter wonderland theme I'm gonna do on my table. Okay, so I'm gonna be rotating between these little houses and these little sparkly white trees for my name card placements, as well as these little pieces of logs, I guess, for tea light candles. And the ice skates and the trees are all found at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. So as far as my napkins, I was trying to think of something that I could do to stick with the um, outside kind of winter wonderland theme. And I thought of just doing Christmas tree napkins and believe it or not, you can just type that into 
TikTok and videos come up. So I tried my best to replicate what I saw and this is what I came up with. And these glasses are almost as old as I am. I believe they are over 25 years old. My mom and dad used to get them from Arby's. Yes, the Arby's, the restaurant, for $2 a piece. And it is tradition to start using them at Thanksgiving through the Christmas season. And this is how everything turned out in the end. I'm very happy that I decided to host Thanksgiving this year, even if it is a smaller crowd than what we're used to. I am very thankful for family, and I hope that this video helped you in some way, got inspired to do something special for your Thanksgiving, and helped you save some money. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite Thanksgiving Day food item if you're still here with me. And I'm so thankful for you guys. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and God bless.